Hello. 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 It's us again. <laughs> this, Sorry. This I can't put myself on screen. Yes, you can. This, this morning we said we'd go and do a walk up the high street. So yes, in the uh, lovely little town. That's what we're going to attempt to do. Ridge, where the shop is. So we're just going to have an amble. So if you can join us and see all the shops and the hanging baskets, we're just going to do that. If you can't stand us anymore, we quite understand. <laughs> Um, hopefully there'll be an audio and a connection, so we'll just take, it, take yes. it as it comes. Off we go. Right, so we're starting out at the Alms Houses, which is down at the bottom of the beginning of the high street. And it's wonderful um, 16th, 17th century building, 1638. And uh, very historical you'll probably lose connection going through this bit of uh, let's see so this is beautiful courtyard am I going to open the door again and there's this wonderful little almshouse um, what do you call it chapel which is usually open whether there'll be a connection in here sorry we are <laughs> want to push you out of here, probably okay. lose connection immediately. <laughs> it's nice and cool yeah, down here. <laughs> oh, this is so small that when you breathe in it goes up your nose. Mind the door on your arm, Jim. It's very cool in here, isn't it? Mm. Compared to how hot it is outside. Right then, so okay, coming back out. Open the door, you go first. So if you want to do a tourist uh, destination type type broadcast. The history of the arms houses, etc. from the plaque up there. Um, you see quite the rules. It's the rules of the arms houses. We're not going to read those now. No, they're way <laughs> too big. But if people came to Wharton, it's definitely you worth could, You could read it. Look. If you so desire. So this is the very bottom of a high street. This is this is kind of uh, before you go round into the main section. And when um, we first started uh, Fifi's Fancy Furniture, we shared a shop, which is actually now Studio Seventy Nine, and we were there for a year. And is that then, all? Yes, only for a year. Oh, and then we moved halfway up the high street, and were there for two years. And then we moved into the shop we're in at the moment, and um, we're in our third year there. So, um, shall we cross over? Try not to, try not to get run over. We've got um, Mr. Thomas's shop, which is an amazing shop. Uh, it's a very, very old-fashioned shop. Um, he has the most amazing mannequins, which is sort of slightly scary because they've been around for so long. Uh, but the shoes and the footwear and the walking gear that he sells is absolutely fabulous and exceptionally good prices. And so the Falcon Inn looking the amazing. The Falcon Inn, yes. They actually grow their own beef. Ginger's vegan, I'm vegetarian, so it doesn't really do it for us. But everybody that loves meat says it's the best steak around. And it's won sort of restaurant of the year, pub of the year uh, competitions many times. So it's well worth going to. Can you see the mannequins? They're all a little bit scary. Ah. Slightly weird looking ones. Lovely um, flower arrangements. The hanging baskets are se sensational, absolutely sensational. Um, yes, look, the mannequins of the children look absolutely scary. <laughs> <laughs> but the clothes that they do are exceptional. So, hi Pauline. <laughs> so we have the uh, Tansy Designs. Um, fantastic bead shop. So anybody that does beading, I don't really do that sort of thing myself, but they do lots of stuff online and um, it's a very, very popular, popular shop. Been there for a long time. Hi, Pauline. Hiya. Hiya. Um, then we have the Wine Shack. Uh, that's fairly recent. I guess they've probably been trading about two years now and they do tapas and fantastic wines and they've got a little courtyard garden really really worth going to Not probably there. best to book but it's um it's fantastic yeah. you'd, you'd enjoy it it's got lovely food it'd be drink. fine even oh well no that's true <laughs> <laughs> God. Uh, so. we're taking a leisurely walk up the high street 
because it's a lovely sunny day and why not? Yes, it's quite hard for me to do a leisurely walk, isn't it? Everybody that knows me knows that I walk at breakneck speed usually. Want to buy that table? Um, here's a nice little table. There's a nice little, uh, nice little side table there as well. It's a good charity shop, this one. Um, goes back a long way and they have some lovely bits and pieces in there. We've got the collective. They sell all sorts of wonderful things in there. Some scented candles and crystals and artwork and craft stuff. Really, really nice. It's Excellent stuff. Hot on this side of the room. It is. We might have to go um, on that side of the room. Well, let's just see if Kieran's in. Yes, he's there. Kieran's there. Yeah. Um, just to say hello. I'm not the outside, but it's all gone. Sorry. This is the okay. um, walk of the baby. I'll come again some, some other time. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah. do I need to order the They, make, yeah. if you take it they make the most yeah. fantastic yeah. bread yeah. in here. If the malted seeded uh, loaf is absolutely the best ever. the day before. Thoroughly recommend it. Cheers, man. Hi, hi, Kieran. Just to do it yes. today, then. Yeah, we just thought we'd pop in and say hello. Oh, hang on, let me get this side. I don't want to get, out. <laughs> get the best side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is Kieran. How long have you been here, Kieran? Five years now. Five yeah. years. And shop's been here for longer than five years. <laughs> but <laughs> the, the forty odd years. Forty odd years. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely fantastic. Years. Yeah, Baker's been here probably about twenty-five years. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we're just doing a little little shoot up the high street, taking notes of all the hanging baskets. And oh yeah, that was beautiful, beautiful day, eh? Lovely day, yeah. yeah. And we thought we'd just yeah. pop in and say hi. Yeah. So uh, yeah. see you next time. Good I luck need some on bread. your travels. Thank you so much. <laughs> Take care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. -bye. of delights this little shop opened really by appointment um, and Jane who is actually our ex landlady from the, our middle shop she now specializes in these gorgeous dolls houses and all the furniture that goes in it and she sells most of it is some um, profit for charity organizations etc so she only lives across the road so if you ever want to have anything to do with dolls houses you just need to give her a call turn around but you've got the the wonderful woods and things up behind you so you get town with this lovely view of woods and things unless you want to do a very slow turn around just to show everybody just nice to see the woods at the end of the high street then we've got the best vegetable shop about the restaurant next door. The restaurant, is it? I don't it know. is a restaurant. Nice. Good food, kitchen and bar. Nice. Nice. So tonight it is a bar. Yeah. Five till ten o'clock. And tomorrow night it's three course meal. Twenty-five seats. We've got a fantastic chef. Used to work in London for a long time. She's best chef in the district working for us every Saturday night. So have a look at the menus in the window, and that's just for July. Different menu every single Saturday. So absolutely, we use the fruit and veg from here. So it's pea soup, for example. <laughs> for, so what are you called again, and how do they find you? It's Good Food Kitchen and Bar. Yep. And type in Good Food Watson Under Edge. Okay. You'll find it. Great. Do. Well done. Well done. Well done. Fantastic. Nice to see you. Bye bye. Just found out that the um, uh, Neil, the um, what would you call him, Forestry C Commission guy, has got five puppies. Oh, Jack Russell puppies. Yeah, you must have one. Yeah. So we've got crafters next door to ML Crafts and Gifts. ML Crafts and Gifts is a new one. I haven't actually been in there yet, so my apologies to them. Um, but Crafters is made up of local people doing all sorts of different crafts. They really are fantastic in there. Worth going in for. And um, Cotswold Book Room, best bookshop around. Absolutely fantastic. They are so helpful. If it's for somebody's birthday, they'll even wrap it for you. They'll deliver locally. They're just brilliant. Well worth going in there. Still got a Lloyd's bag, just. Don't know how much longer for. And we've got fish out of water. This is full of artisan stuff. Absolutely brilliant things. Mo and uh, Mike have been here a long time. They have artworks, sculptures, um, pottery, china, all sorts of beautiful things. Leatherwork, books, 
um, they're, they're really, really, it's a great shop. Superb, and if you need specifics, they will order them in for you. So we're about halfway up the high street. We've got a few estate agents. The best one, in my opinion, of course, is Milbury's because I worked for them for a hundred years. They're at the top. We'll knock on the windows, we go past. Um, but they're all very good. I love um, this architecture. Yes, it's yeah. pretty, pretty old. Mind your uh, microphone. And that. They do. And then we've got Relish, who do um, homemade food, cookery. You can pre-order food for parties. Um, they'll do vegan food, vegetarian food, cakes. They do the best vegetarian sausage rolls. And I defy anybody who isn't told it's a vegetarian sausage roll to be able to tell that it is. It's so, uh, so good, better than the real thing. Um, we've got the Wooden Coffee Shop. Um, they have the most fantastic garden out in the back and uh, very friendly, very nice and just the most beautiful architecture. It's a very, very old building and you can see it all when you're in the back garden. We've got um, Parsons Bakers. That's probably one of the only few chains that we have in Wooten Underhead. Sorry. Then we have Cookability. Uh, which is a fantastic kitchen shop. Gareth is in there now just serving a customer. Morning or good afternoon, Gareth. <laughs> um, we have the DIY shop with Tony over there in his pork pie hat. <laughs> Hello there. Hello, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Good, good, good. <laughs> We're just doing a live up the high street to show everybody Wooden Under Edge and how beautiful it is. Sorry? We're just doing a, a, a live broadcast just oh. to show everybody how beautiful Wooden Under Edge is. Because oh, okay. it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you alright there, Tony? Enjoying the sunshine? <laughs> so, this is Clarence's. They do fantastic giftware. Um, really, really nice stuff. Lots of homemade sweets and chocolates, etc. Hello, where have you been? And then we have the florist, Robinsons. They've been here for many years. And um, hello, my darling. How are you doing? Just doing a Facebook Live. How many years have you been here? She's been here for 30 years. <laughs> we have the, um, the craft room on the other side. Anything. Anything you need to do anything at all crafty, they've got it. They're fantastic. We've got the Edge Tea Room. In fact, um, I just point out that the craft the shop was actually our old shop, wasn't it? Mm. Except that we had the room and the space right behind as well, so we had more space. But um, this was where our other shop was, right next door to Road Walk. And right next door is um, oh, such a relief to get out of the sun. Oh, I want to be in the sun. Is a fantastic cafe. Sell the most gorgeous uh, homemade food, delicious cakes, and it's really good coffee and great selection of teas. And there's also a garden through to the back, so um, well worth going in to see them. Hi there. Very big fun. Um, and then this building here has actually been made into um, a bed and breakfast or holiday rooms, and the base. Uh, entrance bit here has been hijacked by Lisa from Loving Home, which we'll see in a minute, so that she can put all her produce in there as well. So it's a bit like an overflow shop. And um, Lisa from Loving Homes does gifts, uh, clothes, um, cushions, all sorts of lovely bits and pieces. Shop. Well, we're going to see her too. Yeah. I feel. We have so 
you had a ball and paper there that does tattooing as well. So on that side of the road we have Milbury's, estate agents, fantastic estate agents. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but pre-loved children's toys, clothes, clothes and, baby. and baby equipment. And um, all very reasonable and all a very good standard, isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. Right, thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye. So There's that's Market the, uh, Street up through there. Up there isn't it? Yeah, the cinema's up there and the Star Inn. And that's where the centre of town parking is currently. We've got a lot of scaffolding work going on at the moment, unfortunately, which is detracting from its charm and its character, but it's only temporary. Um, very good pet shop. Uh, it's where I buy all the dog biscuits for our customers' dogs that come in who refuse to go past the shop unless I've actually given them a biscuit. We've got a really fantastic, very, very old-fashioned hairdressers opposite with those big old domes that go over people's heads to dry their hair. But it's still there, still very popular, still used much every day and um, it's just part of its quaintness. Uh, this is Watch and Travel, um, extremely helpful, great place to come if you want to book a holiday and if you need help with specifics they're always extremely good. And then on the other side of the road we've got the Cotswold Letter Press, we've got Pete there who's been there for many years. Um, he does a fantastic job of printing and he does some really old-fashioned print work as well. If you want something a little bit special, invitations, um, cards, then definitely worth going to see him. And then of course we've got Fifi's, which is here on the way back to where we started from. So that was a bit of a quick gallop up the high street. Not very quick, but as quickly as we could go without... So if you want to see the inside Fifi's, you can look at the replay of the morning. We did the uh, shop tour this morning, so that's on the live feed in the Facebook and um, quick apologies again for taking up all of the um, airspace on Facebook and Insta it's just that uh, we have to go with what's available at the time and because it's a nice sunny day today it seemed a good idea to just go up and just do the high street one Teresa so. Nichols saying well done girls oh thank you so much <laughs> Teresa appreciate thank it. you appreciate Take that care, everybody. Have, have a, a nice day time. let's leave it on a shot of the high street Wooden under edge. Bye for now.